Gas Gang, welcome back to another insane OG battle. And this time, we're pitching Tuna Car against Supercar. The pair couldn't be more different, but for science sake, we're gonna make it happen. Stay tuned for this one, it's gonna be sick. Let's get it. Welcome to Officially Gas. So welcome back once again to another installment of the OG Battles. We've got two completely different cars stepping up against one another today, making for a completely random head-to-head. -head. One's an old school, highly tuned Japanese build and the other's an Italian supercar. Regardless of the randomness, it's gonna be an entertaining showdown. And in partnership with Race Logic, and as usual, we're gonna be running four different tests. First up, it's a zero to 60. Next up, it's a quarter mile run. After that, it's a drag race to the quarter mile. And finally, we line all cars up for the quarter mile roll race. So first up today, and representing for the old school JDM fans, welcoming back Luke and his 1992 1.3 litre rotary 540 brake horsepower Mazda RX-7 built by Rotatalk. Modifications include a large street ported 13B REW engine, a big single Borg Warner S363 turbo, goopy seals, uprated fuel pumps, a rat's nest delete, water injection, an OEM two-way differential, and an Apexy standalone ECU. The car's running on Federal RSR tyres all round and weighs in at around 1300 kg, giving it a power to weight ratio of 415 brake horsepower per tonne and it drives its rear wheels via its manual 5-speed gearbox. And representing for the supercar crowd, he's going to be stepping up against Chris and his 580 brake horsepower, 4.5 litre V8 Liberty Warp Ferrari 458 Spider. The 458's modifications only comprise of an FI exhaust system and pipe across filters. However, the car is fitted with an insane Liberty Walk GT kit and also runs on Pravis air suspension. He's running on Pirelli street tyres today and weighs in at around 1370kg, giving it a similar power to weight ratio with the RX-7s of 423 brake horsepower per tonne. It sends all of its power to its rear wheels via its dual clutch transmission. <laughs> Luke, welcome back to the channel, brother. Yo, what's up? It's been a while, bro. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Mate, you're, uh, you're up against the Ferrari today, bro. I know, pretty pretty wide, isn't it? Pretty wild and pretty <laughs> wide. Yeah. Um, right, so zero to 60, quarter mile, drag race, roll race. What's your predictions? I don't know, I reckon I could get a better dot to 60 than I did when we were doing it last time, like on the roads. Uh, so yeah, I think the Ferrari's gonna beat me off the line all day, every day but I think I might have him on a rolling race. Okay. Or I might have him towards the end of a quarter mile. Okay. I don't know. I'd... Fingers crossed. <laughs> That's Fingers it, Fingers crossed right. for the well, listen, car. it's, it's going to be epic regardless. New versus old. Yep. Tuna versus, I don't know. Supercar. Uh, Supercar, Supercar, I guess, Supercar, right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, listen, brother. Good luck. Thank and, um, yeah, let's do it. Get it. Let's do it. <laughs> Chris, brother, welcome to Officially Gas OG Battles. All right, mate, yeah, it's on. You brought down a Ferrari today and you are racing an old school Mazda RX-7. Now, I want your opinion on how you think it's going to go. Zero to 60, quarter mile, drag race, roll race. Enjoy My them. opinion on how it's going to go well. Okay, so it's like the older car, obviously, but he's done a lot of mods to it. This is stock, apart from the exhaust filter, which doesn't really count, but so it's, it's, it's not modified in that respect. How do I think it's going to go? I think it's going to be close. I think it's going to be a close race. I'm going to mix around with the launch and manual changes because obviously he hasn't got it. So I'm going to see what works best, but also what's fair as well, because you've got to be fair. Definitely. Um, but I think it'll be a very close one. I think the rolling one will probably be the best, uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Wicked. All right, well, good luck. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Thanks, mate. Let's nice do it. So first up is zero to 60s. All right, so let's get a couple of sound checks. <laughs> So first up is Chris, let's see what he's got. And the V-Box PBT starts recording as soon as they start moving, so whenever they're ready, they're just going to go for it. Alright, here we go. Ready? <laughs> Change. Right, see what that was. And that's 
a strong 0 to 60 from the rear wheel drive supercar of just 3.61 seconds. Let's see what the RX7 has got to say about that. 3.61. Launch, you need launch, eh? Oh, swore. Don't know if you'll have to swear. Well, there we go. 3.61, that'll do. On an unprepped surface, let's not forget. Yo, what's up, guys? Luke Hard here. We're doing this for the Japanese car community. And the best Luke and the RX7 can manage is a 4.79 seconds. Happy with that. <laughs> That's not bad. So let's just take a quick look at the OG Battles rear wheel drive 0 to 60 leaderboard. And as you can see, Chris drops into fifth position with his time of 3.61 seconds. And then looking at the lower end of the leaderboard, Luke goes into 12th position with his time of 4.79 seconds. And round one goes to the supercar. So next up, it's the quarter mile test. Luke's up first, let's see what he's got. Get a more aggressive start. More aggressive start, let's go. Let's beat, let's get a sub five seconds. 13.14 And Luke manages a time of 13.14 seconds. Let's get it. What's good, gas gang? <laughs> Let's see what the Ferrari's got to say about that. All right, quarter mile. Let's see what we can do this. <laughs> Manages a strong time in the 458 of just 11.75 seconds. Now what we have to remember is that this is a standard 458. I have this kit on it. I ain't messed with the engine yet. So let's just take a quick look at the rear wheel drive OG Battles quarter mile leaderboard. And as you can see, Chris drops into seventh position with his time of 11.75 seconds at a speed of 122 miles per hour. And Luke falls into 13th position with his time of 13.14 seconds at a speed of 117 miles per hour. And once again, round two goes to the supercar. So next up, it's the drag races. I'm not gonna lie, it's not looking great for Luke and the JDM fans right now. But can he pull one back? Let's find out. Here we go, Mazda RX-7 FD versus Ferrari 458 Spider. supercar gives the RX-7 an old school bus length lesson in Japanese. He did me. I got a 13.31 quarter mile. And just because we can, we're going to line them both back up, however, in different lanes this time to see if anything changes. Let's get it.
Don't know if that was any better. Rolling race next. He beat me, by the way. What are you going to do? <laughs> Once again, the old school RX-7 just doesn't have the beans to beat the Ferrari to the finish line and gets gapped by a bustling. And round three, once again, goes to the Italian supercar. So next up is the roll races. Now this should hopefully even things up a little bit. Let's see if Luke can pull one out of the bag at this late stage in the battle. Ready? like a closer race that time, the Ferrari still dominated and beat the RX-7 to the finish line by about five car lengths. And you know what, we're gonna give the RX-7 the benefit of the doubt, line it up and do it again. One more, one more. Always want one more when you're not winning. Here we go, last one, got another. <laughs> He wants one more, let's have one more. Come on. He's a pace car. I'm here. Alongside, ready. Here's the line. And... again and unfortunately for Luke and the JDM fans, race number four unfolds the exact way we all thought it would and Luke takes a big gap in by the finish line. Round four and all rounds go to the supercar. Luke, brother. Yo, what's mm. going on, Gas Gang? Hey, bro. <laughs> what's going on with the RX-7 more like? What happened, bro? Four, four, four L's. Okay, it comes in three parts. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the excuses, God. The car's 30 years old. Yeah. It's a manual. Yep. And I weigh like 100 kilos. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. No, listen, bro, no. I think, look, you were always the underdog. Yeah. Um, and thank you for stepping up, even knowing you're the underdog. But I think it, it was quite cool, as, as, as we say, you know, tuna, old school car, yep. versus supercar. Yeah. How do you think, obviously, we know, obviously, you didn't, you didn't take any wins today, yep. but how do you think it played out? I think I did well. I definitely improved. I improved all my times every time. I was sick of these on the quarter mile. Um, yeah, it's just, could be improved somewhat it's just drive driver error it's the human factor yeah. involved obviously yeah. if you've got like a dct or something like that you just you're going through the gears yeah but well, i've got to change gear i've got to make sure it's in you've got to climb the gearbox the is fucking old as well yeah yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, I mean? yeah, so, yeah. uh yeah I'm, I'm happy with today wicked I'm and that's the main thing today. bro the main thing is you came down you made it happen yep and we, we've had a fun day right yeah it's not over yet i'm gonna stay <laughs> good man stay, good man around, stay even more yeah, all right bro well, listen always a pleasure and um yeah man we'll uh See you soon. See you again. Nice one. Nice one. Chris, brother, how do you think it went? Four wins, I think, well, today, right? I think it went okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it went well. Um, obviously, I didn't use a launch, just doing it manually each time, changing in myself um, to make it a bit more level, level playing field yeah. as well, but also because the launch is a bit rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it went well. I enjoyed it. Wicked. Really good fun. Um, didn't do quite as much talking as I wanted because I was concentrating. That's it, bro. You know, but I did, did do a few little uh, things in there. But yeah, it was really good. Wicked. And um, it was it was fairly close in some ones, especially the last roller. Yes. That was more close. I actually looked behind me on that one. Oh, really? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was really good. Wicked. And um, yeah, four wins. So yeah, happy there you days. Go. You took the W, bro. Took thank you so w, much mate. for coming. No worries. Thank it's been you. been a pleasure, man. Cheers, guys. Thank nice you. One. So unfortunately for the JDM fans, it only went one way this time. 
I feel like the Ferrari's slight power advantage and gearbox just outgunned the old school manual RX-7 today. However, massive respect for both for stepping up and letting their cars do the talking. And although it was a totally random comparison, it still made for a wicked video. Let me know in the comments which one you'd prefer and why. And as ever, if you have enjoyed this week's installment of the OG Battles, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and stay tuned for another epic OG battle. Peace out. Thank you.